Good Friday morning. We're still in the wonderful words of life in 1 John chapter 2 and the importance of knowing the Word of God and living the Word of God. I hear people say too often, and it's sad, when they say, well, you know, I really don't know the Bible. You know what? If you don't know the Bible, then you don't know God. The only way we can know God is through his revelation. We don't know God on our own. And we, uh, many people think that's just pride. It's really ignorance that often leads to pride. If you do not know the word of God, then you cannot live the word of God. If you cannot know and live the word of God, then you, you don't know God at all. That's the problem. That's the problem in church. That's the problem with people who think they know something about the Lord. And they're just spouting off their ignorance. Listen to what the word of God says beginning in verse 4 of 1 John chapter 2. The one who says, I have come to know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar. That means you don't know him. You're just lying. And he says, and the truth is not in him, but whoever keeps his word in him, the love of God has truly been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he, that is Christ, walked. Jesus Christ is the revelation of God. It's our way of understanding who God is. And if you say, I don't know the Bible, I don't read the Bible, I'm not drawn to the Bible, then you really don't know the Lord. You're lying to yourself. And if you say it out loud, you're lying to anybody who hears you. And But, but the Bible is very clear on this. John says, the one who knows the Bible and who loves the Bible, the Word of God and the love of God is perfected in him. It's being brought to completion. It makes him complete. It makes him complete in his knowledge of God and in his love of God. You can't receive the full love of God if you don't live and know and live the Word of God. That's what he's trying to say here. He said, whoever keeps his word. Isn't that, isn't, isn't that plain? That's as plain as you can. it can be. He says, in him the love of God has been perfected, and by this we know in him the one who says he abides in him should walk as he also walked. Jesus gave his commands, and Jesus revealed his life as recorded in the Gospels and fleshed out in the epistles and on, on and on, that we're in him and we are to walk as he walked. We can't use the excuse, well, I can't be perfect. We can't use the excuse, well, I've sinned. God's taken care of that for us in Jesus Christ. And if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Get to know God and the love of God and allow God to love you today by knowing his word. And when you know it, live it. If you don't, you don't know him and you can't experience the fullness of his love. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your word guides us into a relationship with you that is complete. It's perfected. And it's a relationship of love and joy and peace, gentleness, kindness, patience, all of those things that you give us. Help us to have a thirst for the word of God today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.